What's up everyone? This is your boy Mr. P here and this is my second Dragon Ball Super review. Um, this week I will be covering episode 4 um, and I'm sorry I didn't have episode 3 up for you guys. I just kind of didn't have time to do it. Um, and I know I sh should have done it last week because there was a break and there wasn't an episode last week but oh well. Um, anyway this will be we got to be covering episode 4. So yeah, let's get right into it. So, um, this episode was... It was titled, like, Pilaf's... Pilaf and Gang's plot um, to hunt or hunt for the Dragon Balls. Even though it didn't really focus on them that much, it, they only got a couple minutes of screen time. Which kind of surprised me. But, whatever. It I... Honestly, I wasn't too excited for this episode just because it was Pilaf um, and his gang even though they are some pretty good comedic relief but I just I liked um, just the episode and with Beerus and Whis going to uh, Kaioshin I just call them Kaioshins um, uh, North Kai's planet and when they were like strapped together that was pretty amusing um, so that was entertaining, and then there was um, Goten and Trunks, and Trunks is, they were kind of exploring the ship, um, and I kind of like how they're going around together and doing explorations, and when they got to the prizes room, and when they went to the get the Dragon Balls, um, I thought that was all pretty neat, and when, something that just like didn't make sense to me, was when they... Bulma had the whole guard up f for the Dragon Ball so people couldn't steal them. And she had like a blocker so they couldn't be detected on the Dragon Radar, which actually I thought was really cool. Um, but Trunks just unplugged something and the whole shield went down. And I was just confused as to how... Like, why would she make put it as a plug in the wall? Like, one, wouldn't that use a lot of energy? And two... That's not very effective. Wouldn't you want it to be like a power supply in the ship so people couldn't unplug it? Or have it not be a cord? I don't know. It didn't make sense to me. But it was just kind of funny that all Chunks had to do was unplug it for it to stop working. Yeah. I thought that was it was funny. Um, and how Vegeta and Goku are not going to Bulma's party because they just want to train. And Goku was like... Uh, I, I'm not really a big fan of parties when it was obvious he just didn't want to go and he just wanted to train. And even though he said, oh, I forgot I should go, then he was just like, nah. <laughs> I, I just thought Vegeta and Goku were just funny and Vegeta was like, I'm not going to my wife's birthday party. What are you talking about? Like, it was a crazy idea to go to your wife's birthday party. So I'm liking, throughout the episodes, I'm liking the comedic relief um, that they're putting in. And kind of going back to the the Dragon Ball roots of in the first series, just Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, because Dragon Ball Z was a lot more serious, and I thought it was I thought it was nice that they're bringing back some of the comedic relief that they had in Dragon Ball. Um. Oh, another thing that I wanted to point out was um how the battle, how they're kind of re how they're redoing the whole thing with Battle of Gods and how like. Um, the Kai's are f just freaking out that Beerus and, uh, or just Beerus is coming to, um, is going towards Goku, and they're so scared about them having a fight, and I, it just never, I just never really understood why they were so scared that they would be having this fight, like, why, does it matter, let them fight, um, but it was just, I guess I was just freaking out, so, Another thing I wanted to touch on was in the manga. I know this is like where Champa. This is this how you pronounce it, Champa? Champa is kind of revealed, like when they're fighting. Champa is kind of just like sneaking around, doing his own thing. Um, and he. And so in the, I'm wondering if they're gonna do the same thing in the um. Oh, what's it called? In the anime. If when they're fighting, Champa's gonna be sneaking around and just be like, "I hope Beerus doesn't notice his, notice me because he's fighting someone." And I hope I also hope when they if the, when they do reveal Champa, because I hope that's where they do reveal him, just to 
kind of keep the anime and manga together. I like how they're different, but I also like want them to be similar in some senses. I more just want Champa to be revealed because we really don't know anything about him or anything about his weiss like assistant that he has. Mm. Yeah, because I really just want to know her name. I'm assuming it's her. Um. Yeah, so this episode was kind of uneventful. There isn't really that much to say about it. Just, it was a good episode. They're still developing the characters. And I know a lot of you are, like, really impatient. Like, come on, I just want to get in actions and the explosion. One, there has been explosions. Um, like, beer is just, like, tapping tables and exploding planets and stuff. And two, it's like a whole new series. Like, they have more characters to introduce. Like, the reason they could start off so early with Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball Z, is because the characters had already been introduced. Like, there was no new characters. Like, with all the new villains and stuff, like Frieza, there was a bunch of setup for him. Cell, you saw him doing stuff on his own. Um, Majin Buu, you heard a whole backstory about him. And they didn't do it as much with Majin Buu, because he didn't really have much of a character. But with Cell and Frieza, there was a whole bunch of setup and stuff. And in Dragon Ball, they did set up Bulma and Goku like that, like to learn their characters. And same with Yamcha and Tien and stuff. So, yeah, just, I guess be patient and enjoy what's going on right now. And I like how, oh, sorry about, I bumped my mic. I'm sorry about, but I guess enjoy the comedy and enjoy the lead up to the action. Next op episode. I'll probably be talking a lot more and freaking out because Goku and Beerus are fighting and I hope Shoppa's reveal. It's going to be epic. So yeah, that's all I had to say about this episode, guys. Um, I felt it might have been one of the weaker ones, but it was still um, pretty good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and leave a comment. What are your thoughts? Do you think the series is going too slow or too fast? But... That's all I have to say for you today, guys. Peace.